Did Asian viral sensation Lil Tay just fake her own death? Or does she just have the worst parents in the world? Yo, we gotta talk about this because this went super viral, both the news of her death and then the news of the hoax. And now people are debating about who to blame. Let's just say this, Andrew, Lil Tay, she definitely had her little day in the sun. Because even legitimate news sources were tricked by this despite no governmental agencies, no police departments, no coroner departments ever verifying this. So a lot of people are basically signaling this, Andrew. This is it for social media. It's peaked. It's only downside from here. Get off social media. All right, everybody, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. But don't get off YouTube because you need to watch more Hot Pop Boys because we actually deal with facts and we pop up little screenshots of our receipts of the searches, you know, so you know what we're referencing. But anyways, guys, I do want to talk about um, Lil Tay. Okay, she is half Chinese, mostly grew up in Vancouver. Um, uh, her mother is Chinese. And I guess, like, I, I guess the weird thing is, is, like, she's one of the few Asian people that everybody talked about. Like, everything from, like, kind of the urban circles, like your DJ academics, to your Reddit pages, your general Reddit en uh, entertainment you, sites. Unless Jackie Chan passed away, you would never see these, yeah. uh, you know, urban sites post anything generally Asian. Yeah, it was really interesting. Like, why Why is she so, like, why did people, I don't know if they cared about her, but they talked about I her. I mean, she was a huge sensation in 2018, Andrew. We're talking about Tay Tien, which apparently a lot of people were reporting her name to be Claire Chi Hope, but it's actually Tay Tien. You know, actually, we call her Xiao Tian Tian. That's so, where Lil Tay came from. So there's just a lot of misinformation out there. Yeah. I mean, her brother is Jason Tian. Her mom's Angela Tian. Chris' dad is her hope. Uh, Chris Hope is her dad. I mean, I think that she sort of captured everybody's attention because there was this little hopper girl, and you could say she kind of has like an Eileen Gu look, right? Like, you don't know if, whether she's white or Asian, looks like half. But acting sort of like... The youngest flexor ever on all you broke boys. You can't even get this Ferrari and I didn't even start rapping yet. And that really captivated people's attention in 2018. Like she was probably one of the most viral people in America that year. Well, she was so viral, even Eminem dropped a bar about her. Eminem is one of the greatest rappers of all time, top 10, you know. And he's like, oh, got more fans than you in your own little city. Lil Kitty, go play. Feel like I'm babysitting Lil Tay. Yeah, and I think a lot of people now are debating like, do, are we glad that T Lil Tay is alive? Are we sad that she tricked us? Oh. And what's going on in her life? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what, is she being exploited or is she herself some little, little clout yeah. genius that's like toying listen, with everybody's attention economy? Listen, if it is actually child exploitation and actually serious, like child abuse, it needs to be investigated from a criminal standpoint. CPS, somebody yeah, call them. The, doc, the, the police got to be called. But... If this is some social media BS and the parents were either trying to take her off social media or she did this whole hoax herself, her and her brother, just to get attention so that she could go do a bunch of podcasts in a year from oh, now. Launch a crypto coin. Yeah. Uh, then shame on her and I'm down to cancel her for it. If that comes out to be true. But I think part of me, I also, I'm glad that she's alive. Because I was like slightly sad. I was like, dang, I don't want to hear Lil Tay pass away. That's not cool. You know, I'm sad. But I'm glad she's alive. And now that she's alive, I'm over it. Like, I don't care what happens anymore. Right. You are officially disengaging and like, checking Lil out of this Tay story. Lil Tay has taken up so much of my attention and so much of the airspace. And it has been such a distraction that I'm like, dude, just stay alive and shut up. And nobody care about her anymore. Right. Hey, she guys. has no value. Like her, her content is like not, she can't come back and do the same content unless, unless she's been practicing her rap skills this whole time. And she comes out with some fire. Oh, she starts rapping like Eminem. Maybe yeah, then maybe um, I'll pay attention. Let's get in the comment section. Somebody said she must've just watched that Dave episode, which is little Dickie's show where he faked his death because it almost seems shot for shot like that. Somebody said, no, she more had watched Jesse Smollier. Someone said, listen guys, this isn't even surprising in the past month on Instagram. Sharks have been eating people like chicken nuggets. Aliens have been dropping by earth for coffee and cake. And somebody just faked their own kidnapping a week ago. So let's just go for it. It's 2023. Fake your death and then just announce it 24 hours later. Who cares? Life is weird. Uh, somebody said, you listen, when teens become deeply involved in social media, it appears to become more important to them than anything else. Young people really need to stay off their cell phones. 
and social media. Yeah. I mean, I think either way, because so many people were speculating, oh, did she commit suicide? Was it a murder suicide? Did she get in a jet skiing accident in Alberta? And then a lot of people were like, dude, we were all speculating. We were all on this edge of our seats. And then it just turned out to be fake. And you're launching a crypto coin. Forget Is she really this. launching a crypto coin? Yeah, that's what I heard, man. Oh my God. If you guys buy that coin... You deserve to be broke. Yeah, somebody said, listen, guys, this is playing out exactly like Lil Tay Camp wants. A poor kid is exploited by her family, becomes a sad reflection of social media, disappears, now wants attention again, so they fake a story about our death, and guess what? Everybody falls for it and reports it, and I get it. They need views, and it's their job, and this is just such a pathetic stage we reach as a society. Nobody even cares what's real or fake anymore. Even legitimate news sources were not even checking before they reported the news. Yo, so what if we had, like, uh, a judge? Like, what if you had, like, three strikes on social media? Like, all the news sites would post you a couple times, but if you did them wrong, then they won't post you anymore. We need to start actually but, canceling people. But, but see, here's the thing, Andrew. You are uh, positing that they care about what is right and what's wrong. They just want the clicks. I think if Lil Tay is proven to get clicks, which she clearly has with her faking her death, if she does another thing that's stupendous enough and it gets clicks, Lil Tay will still be near the top of uh, the search news SEO. I don't know. I don't know if people have the appetite for it. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit journalistic integrity. Integrity has been compromised no, in the name of consumers profits. Consumers wouldn't have the appetite to hear more about Lil Tay. Right. All right. Listen, if Lil Tay, so she's still she's still alive, but let's say unfortunately she happens to pass away like next year. I don't know if this news is going to be as big because people are going to be like, oh my gosh, like did she already like die or whatever? Like you know what I mean? It That's, depends. I think it just depends on how many clicks that her name gets. Literally, like I think toxic. that people are literally just looking at that name, Lil Tay, and they're analyzing the hardcore, deep analytics on it. Um, Andrew, is it more TikTok? Is it more Instagram? Is it more social media? Or is it more parenting? Why does it feel like social media is showing the downfall of American society or North American society from within? Well, there's a lot of blame to go around, David. Do you blame the individual themselves that's abusing social media that's just putting out their content and putting out all these lies no trying themselves. to eat up the attention yeah. pie yeah. right because yeah. there's only so much attention pie do you blame the news sources that give it attention do you blame the consumers for caring do you blame the parents for raising that kid because the parents can't control everything the kid does so there's just a lot or, of blame to go around or do you blame the capitalistic system that allowed them to make millions off being this ridiculous internet Bro, character it's like the same thing man it's like i mean you know if you don't like some some rap music but you give it attention because you think it's a bad influence, but it's also highly entertaining, then that's also, you're also to blame. Yeah, no, it's true. People always make that argument saying, oh man, I'm so sick of this mumble rap. It's all about violence. But then sometimes the ultra lyrical rappers or positive message rappers, they don't get the attention and the gravity they need to sustain, you know, their economics or at least at the same level. Um, somebody said, I hate anybody named Lil Anything, Bad Baby, Lil Pump, Lil Tay. None of them add anything of value to society. All horrific. All right, I do think if you put a Lil in front of your name or you put bad in front of your name, you probably are not a super serious person and you're probably not making uh, highly intellectual content that's positive, I can almost assure you. So I think this is why that person said that. Yeah, I mean, of course, other people were mad. I feel so dumb following this. Some people were really angry about it. Some people were really mad. Um, let's just get into our takeaways, Andrew. Is it kind of sad that this is the only way, and I'm not saying everybody considers Lil Tay Asian, I always thought she was Asian. I've seen her speak Mandarin and, like, understand Mandarin. But, like, I get it because she doesn't look, you know, it's how I got the hopper look. But, like, is this weird that this is the only way that Asians can penetrate, like, the low-end market? You know what I mean? I'm not saying Eileen Gu, like, switching teams to China and winning a gold. That wasn't discussed on, like, geopolitical, like, Fox News. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about amongst just, like, a person who works at, like, Burger King. They're talking about Lil Tay. Yeah, but I think she just kind of falls into, like this comment said, like the bad baby viral, like kind of sphere where it's like- Like the Jerry Springer yeah, uh, like, like redux. It's just very easy to consume. These people are ridiculous. Is they're it like speaking, honey boo boo? Are you saying yeah, like- Yeah, they're speaking ridiculous. Like, I don't know. I think it is unfortunate. I think it's interesting that a lot of people don't talk about her being Asian, or I guess it's not an issue. And I guess maybe I'm glad that it's not. I guess it goes to show you that- if a girl, I think particularly an Asian female, who doesn't appear to be super, super Asian looking and also doesn't act Asian, so she doesn't represent Asian culture or Eastern culture and philosophies, then I feel like her being Asian is not really 
uh, a point of yeah. discussion. I think the only time I've seen a guy be half Asian and not have it be talked about is the Octo Mom's father. You know, the, the people who had ah, yeah, eight yeah. kids or whatever. Yeah, like who 15. had like nine kids or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, like the dad like was half Asian. John, Kate, and eight. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, John. yeah. Yeah, John Gosselin or whatever his name was. Um, I guess, does it also feel like, this is an interesting observation, Andrew, that uh, like Fob Chinese, which I believe Jason Tian, Angela Tian, which is her brother and her mom, because uh, I think she has a half-brother who's full Chinese from China from another marriage. And her who's mom- Who's born in China. Yeah, her mom is a Fob from China. Who's born in China. Born in China. And I'm saying that like, is it interesting that I feel like whether it's getting into wild illegal things or just in the news for some sort of like fringe non-model minority thing or even doing, uh, you know, even more adult video or something like that. It's a lot of people from China. You're not going to see that type of like edgy extreme behavior prototypically from Chinese Americans. Yeah, I think that there's more foreign born Asians in America. Most Chinese are foreign born. Right, also like 60%, think, right? I also think a lot of American born Asians tend to assimilate harder into one of the pre existing cultures in America, which would, I guess, temper them a little bit or put them in this kind of role right. where they don't, I guess, act out as much or something like that. Like, I, no, does it seem like ABCs are super normy? Yeah. And if you see yeah, somebody yeah. who's a pro MMA fighter, this crazy clout driven social media personality or living like rice gum or whatever, they would be more like a, uh, somebody from Asia. Or just Possibly. Somebody. Yeah, because they're outside of the box. They're just very, being very non-Confucian. Yeah. Non I mean, you could say a lot of the most famous Asian-American actors are even from Canada, too. Is there something about being from a different country? Lil Tay, Simu, there's I, I do think that Asian-Americans play ourselves very small and play the game very conservatively for good and bad. Yeah, for good and also, bad, because there's, there's, there's pros and cons to everything. You know, there's a lot of Asian Americans. I think a lot of uh, American born Asians tend to go into different fields, different careers. Yeah. Like they they tend to maybe just want to climb the corporate ladder and stuff like that and want to live life and go to nice bakeries. Uh, and and also, I think produce. Asian Americans are taught to, at least on the high end, really appeal to like a very posh crowd and not like, uh, you know, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say a lot of people follow Lil Tay, not that for sure, not like the, a big book reading crowd. Probably not. Yeah. No, no, no. I think that's safe to assume. But anyways, guys. Uh, oh, oh, I got my last takeaway, too. Oh, what is it? Shame on the news, man. Oh, yeah, shame. And we Big are talking shame. about major news outlets with people paid Can't to vet you. information and do due diligence reporting on Lil Tay's death, literally based off a chat GPT AI written thing, whether it was by her mom or a manager or, or, or herself. Chat GPT wrote her eulogy. Dude, there has to be a limit on social media, guys. Like, there needs to be a law that all the social media has to, to abide by that's like, hey, if we talked about you this amount of times and you've lied like to violated. the media in order to get attention, then we cannot talk about you anymore. You are banned from being talked about. But that would then again go against freedom of speech and go against the freedom of the stupid consumer to consume this and give it attention. Literally, I think that's social media has peaked. No. After the Lil Tay has captivated both... Uh, mom and pop, as well as institutional media outlets for 24 hours, commandeered the headline section. It's a wrap. It's officially a wrap. This whole thing is going down. I think people in their minds have to filter out news better. And you have to tell yourself, this is stupid. You have to say, you have to have the stupid filter and say, listen, I like cat videos. I like these fight videos. I like these cooking videos. Shark. I mean, come I like on, the shark, shark video. Like I like the, the nature videos. is metal videos. But this is hits my stupid meter. So, anyways, guys, have that stupid meter up. I recommend it. Have the filter up. Boom. Hey, but Connected I'm glad Lil Tay's alive, though. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad Lil Tay's alive. Yeah. I'm glad she's not dead. I'm glad Shal Tay is still around. Shal Tay lives on. Yeah. But I can't lie. I don't want to hear about her on social media anymore. Please, nobody post her. Yeah. But just let her be alive. <laughs> All right. You guys, let us know what you think in the comments section. Keep it civil. Until next time, we're the Hop Hop Boys. We're out. Peace. Peace.